she was uh, an outstanding young woman uh, and a great spirit. Uh, and I think that spirit will live on. I think the, uh, the more people learn about her, the more they appreciate uh, what she stood for and how it stands in contrast with the barbaric uh, organization that uh, held her captive. It's President Obama today speaking in an interview with BuzzFeed. That was his first opportunity to comment on the news. Now confirmed by the White House and the intelligence community that Kayla Mueller, the last American known to be held hostage by ISIS, the only American woman known to have been held by the group, uh, the news now confirmed by the White House and by Kayla Mueller's family uh, that she died while being held by ISIS. People told us that um, Kayla tried to teach the guards crafts to make origami little cranes, little peace cranes. And that they told each other stories and they sang the spirit she was. We just delight in that, that Kayla remained Kayla. That's the Reverend Kathleen Day, uh, who's a friend of the Mueller family. She was speaking in Ms. Mueller's hometown of Prescott, Arizona uh, this afternoon. Uh, she and family members of Kayla Mueller related stories that the family had heard, in part from fellow hostages who had been released from captivity, even as Kayla was not. Now, can Miller's family had made a public plea to ISIS uh, on Friday night after ISIS said on Friday that Kayla had been killed by a coalition airstrike. The terrorist group did not make public any information that would have proven that assertion they were making about her. Uh, but apparently ISIS did provide a photo to the family this weekend, which U.S. government sources verified as real and which apparently confirmed her death, although not the means by which she died. That's still unknown. President Obama vowed today, quote, no matter how long it takes, the United States will find and bring to justice the terrorists who are responsible for Kayla's captivity and death. President Obama's language to authorize the military campaign against ISIS uh, goes to Congress as early as tomorrow. Lots ahead tonight. Stay with us.